Hi guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and this is going to be part B of the rudder. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so uh, welcome for joining me again here at Joe's RC Corner. I know we're not working on something that is remote control, however, it's still aviation oriented. And as you can see, I have completed uh, assembling the rudder kit for my Zenith Cruiser. Uh, so um, I didn't do any stop and kind of tell you what's going on type of scenario, uh, mostly because uh, I, this is a learning process for me, and I was uh, this was my first time using a rivet gun and building this uh, this type of construction. So I wanted to kind of concentrate and read the books uh, while I was doing it to make sure that I was doing everything correctly. Um, so, uh, but as you can see, uh, here's the um, here's the rudder. Um, it, we, it, it does come with the control horns uh, down here for the rudder pull-pull cables. Uh, the hinge is also already installed. Um, the Zen Air rivet gun worked flawlessly, guys. So if you do build this airplane or any of the Zenith kits, uh, make sure you invest in their, um, in their air gun here, their rivet gun. Uh, it's a good, good quality uh, product works beautifully and it comes with the correct uh, um, heads here they're specifically machined to lower the profile of the rivets here so make sure you do that um, but other than that everything went together really nice i am extremely happy with uh, how it turned out and uh, we're going to go ahead and roll the time lapse of uh, the construction
I'm not an expert here on building a manned airplane, but I want to share my experience with you guys. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. The other button works just as well. Uh, but uh, any help that you guys can give me in the subscriptions, definitely go ahead and do so. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So keep building and keep flying, guys. And uh, have a great day, guys.